It's the sound you've waited months to hear. Its images are some of your oldest memories. It's caused some of your greatest triumphs. And your biggest heartbreaks. This is college football. It's tradition, pageantry, and intensity. You can visit every school in the country and never see the same thing twice. It's the option at Georgia Tech, the pistol at Nevada, and the spread no huddle. It's Howard's Rock, the smoke in Miami, and every Saturday, you tap that sign. This is what makes college football special. This is why your school is more than who you root for. It's who you are. The wait is over. College football is here. front on the real with y'all from the looks of it it looks like i'm moving right well i am me and my mother of course well there's no another hurtful feeling than finding out that your significant partner had been hiding some really deep dark secrets from you that's the situation that my mother is in now, my mother has given my father chance after chance after chance to come and clean with these deep dark secrets but of course my father kept denying it you know the intuition feeling that women have that once they had that feeling that it's right, well, <laughs> let's just say my intuition from my mother was definitely true. Let me explain something to y'all. So my mother and father met back in college, well, even before then. They was high school sweethearts, but it was one major problem. So my mother's best friend, she liked my father too. So my father had to choose between my mom's best friend and my mother. And y'all know he chose my mother. But that didn't sit quite well with my mom's best friend. So of course, that was not gonna stop her from trying to get after my father. Fast forward a lot of years, my mother and father are getting a divorce simply because my mom's best friend, she finally got what she wanted. And my mom, she definitely wasn't gonna fight over no man. So here we are. So me and my mom, we moved to South Florida with my grandmother until we could figure things out. Now it time to came from recruiting, some of the big colleges that came recruiting after me. Now, there was a lot of guys that recruited me hard, but it was one major problem. They wanted me to play on defense because of my size. See, I stood at six foot seven, 265, 270 pounds. And for that size, a lot of colleges want me to move to the defense side of the ball. And I damn sure wasn't gonna do that. So that pretty much eliminated a lot of big time schools. Now, when it came to this school right here in Florida, they was up front and real with me and my mother. Because of my skills, they wanted me to keep me on the offensive side of the ball, which I love that idea. But being that I played quarterback in high school, being that they had one of the best coming in, a DJ Lackway, quarterback was out of the question. So they thought, why not move me to tight end? Playing tight end, I never really thought about. But the last person that played quarterback and switched to tight end to Corner Florida, well, y'all know, Cal Pitts. 
turned out to be goddamn good. So being that I don't know nothing about tight end or even playing the tight end position, I definitely had something to think about. In Florida, it was down this on top of my list. Now what do I do? Stay close to home or move out of state away from my mother? Y'all let me know. Welcome to the first report in our Road to Glory series. The high school football season is over and signing day is upon us. It's decision time for student athletes who will be playing football at the next level. One student in particular is the subject of a new series of reports following the life of a college football player. The subject of our series hails from Florida, where we're about to find out where our young man has decided to play his college ball. His high school career had the perfect ending. His team was victorious in the state playoffs and took home the title. This highly touted quarterback prospect is one of the most sought after recruits in the country. He has made his decision after considering a variety of scholarship offers. He chose to continue his football career in his home state. This recruit jumped at the chance for a scholarship. When you think about the best home fields in college football, this place certainly comes to mind. It's Ben Hill Griffin Stadium at the University of Florida, and it's as loud as ever. We cannot turn down the opportunity with Florida Gators, Billy Napier, and what he's doing with his program. Now, what you're looking at are the highlights of the spring practice. And he got a couple reps at playing quarterback. You feel me? You know, emergency situations, this kid can play quarterback. You can see throwing it deep. Now, he mainly will play tight end. Now, a lot of y'all want him to play offensive linemen. Now, he will get a chance to block throughout this series. He get the both of both worlds. Offensive line, tight end, one subscriber mentioned that he was trying to find somebody to play tight end. And technically, you can't play tight end in, in RTG, but this will be a dynasty. And we will lock on to the tight end so we get both the both wars, tight end, blocking, receiving, playing quarterback, everything, man. So I think this series going to do numbers, bro. And this is the highlight of the spring practice, bro. He's straight on that dude head, man. So I appreciate y'all. Love y'all the life, man. This is your boy, CRA. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. And I'm gone.